boys and girls. I have a special guest with me today. It's my great friend, Daisy May. Say hi, Daisy May. Ha! You are really going to love this story today. It might even be a story you've heard before. It's one of the greatest stories in the Bible. The Bible? Yep, the Bible. What is the Bible, Elmer? Well, Daisy Mae, the Bible is God's Word. In our story today, there was a man named Noah. Noah was a man who loved God very much. He knew God loved him too. Noah knew he could trust God and listen to what God says. Can you believe what God says, Elmer? Absolutely, Daisy May. God does what he says he'll do. Well, Noah knew that God always did what he said he would do, so Noah listened to God. Watch this. Many years had passed since the day Adam and Eve were forced to leave the Garden of Eden. The world was full of people who had become very wicked. They never prayed or thought about their Heavenly Father. God's heart became full of pain, and He was sorry He had ever created them. So the Lord said, I will destroy these people whom I have created. But there was a man named Noah, who loved the Lord with all his heart. When everyone else had become selfish and mean, Noah and his family walked with the Lord. God was pleased with Noah, and he said, I am going to send a great flood upon the earth to destroy every living thing. Only you and your family will be saved. God told Noah to build a large boat called an ark out of gopher wood. The ark would have many rooms and a roof over the top to keep out the water. The Lord said, this ark should be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet tall, and have three decks. Now we're going to bring two of every kind of bird and beast, male and female, into this ark. Noah did all that God had asked him to do. So Noah, together with his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jacob, and his wife and his son's wives built the ark. They brought plenty of food aboard for themselves and the animals to eat. Soon the animals came to Noah and were loaded into the ark two by two. Keep them coming, Jim. Keep them coming. That's it. Move them along. Where are those two kangaroos? Then God said to Noah, Go into the ark, for it will rain in seven days. Noah did all the Lord commanded. 